OK, <laughs> now over to Mark, who's got a hearty stew for us this morning. How are you, bud? Yeah, good, good. That's right, I've got a hearty stew because the weather is turning. We've had a bit of rain. It's getting a little bit cooler. Perfect time to start making stews. And it's, and it's quite a light stew, this. You know, we've got a beautiful smoked hammerhock here. These are relatively cheap in the supermarket, packed full of flavour. So we're going to make a beautiful stock with the smoked ham hock. We can strip the meat off, you can eat that as well. And then that is gonna flavor our beautiful beans here. And we've got some split peas, what we're gonna do it with today, but you can do uh, white beans and haricot blanc. Got some vegetables in there. Gonna be a fantastic, full of flavor, hearty dish. And I'm gonna show you that a little bit later on in the show. Now it's over to Holly. Great to have you with us on the cafe. We are in the kitchen and today we are making a household favourite for centuries, the good old stew. Pretty much solids cooked in uh, liquid, isn't it? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> OK, nice. But this is going to be really tasty because it's a Mark version, so I'm looking forward to it. What do we need to do to get underway? Right, so we're going to start, and it's all about the stock. So that's, yep. that's where we're going to get the flavour, so we're going to start making the stock. And okay. so it's a little bit different from your traditional stew. You know, we're not using um, sort of shoulder steak or, or, you know, cheap cuts of meat and cooking it slowly. We're using a ham hock. <gasps> yeah. Okay, so it's a smoked ham hock, um, so they've been sort of hot smoked as well, so they're sort of half cooked. But you still want to cook it for an hour or two just to enhance all that flavour of the uh, stock. Sounds brilliant. So, just to start with, just uh, a rough mirepoix, which is just uh, roughly chopped vegetables. So that's celery, um, carrots, onions. Okay. What did you call it? A mirepoix? A, a mirepoix. Oh, mirepoix. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's French. <laughs> nice, I should know that. Okay, so um, just going to roughly chop it. Yeah. So you, you don't need to worry too much about peeling and, um, you know, you can leave the skins on. This is just all purely for flavour. Flavour. Okay, so, okay. This, so you're making a stock. So you can just chuck it in the pot if you want, um, mm -hmm. put cold water on it, put your ham hock in there and just bring it to the boil and start cooking it. I like to just, um, just start your vegetables off. Yeah. Just give them, you know, we're just going to start warming them up, just starting to release all those flavours. So you put a bit of olive oil in yeah, there. Yeah, a little bit of olive oil, a pinch of salt. A little bit of salt. Yeah. And that's going to bring up all those flavours. You know, we're not looking for too much colour. Bay leaf in there and some black peppercorns. Okay. That all goes in there. Right, because I would have assumed most people just boil everything together, but this is really going to give us a flavour enhancement, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just, good. Just little things to do it. I mean, you don't need to. You can just chuck it all in the pot if you want, you know, and then that makes it super, super fast. But it's just nice to do, like, little things like that. Okay, good. Um, right, ham hock. So, obviously pork. So, hot smoked. So we've got lots of flavour in there. It's on the bone, so we're going to cook it. It's going to make it nice and juicy, and it's going to give us lots of flavour, obviously, from the smoke and the bone as well. So it's great. And then all this skin as well. Okay. So we're going to cook this. It's going to fall off the bone, and yep. then we're going to strip all the meat off, okay. and we're going to strain the stock. So we're going to lose all these vegetables in there, and we're yep. going to lose all the bone and fat and any gristle. So it's just going to be pure meat and pure flavour. OK, preparation of this before you cook it. What do you need to do? Anything to it? Uh, so basically, take it out of the packet yep. and pop it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. That's how easy it is. Good. I okay, know we like that. Right, and then all we're going to do now is you just want to cover this with water. <laughs> so you can, you can do that. OK, nice. Um, what do you want me to do? You just cover it with water. OK, sorry. <laughs> so you could, if you, you, know, you want to get more flavour in there and you want to you cook it for a little bit less, uh, you can use some chicken stock. You know, you just get some more body into that. But water is fine. You're going to get so much flavour out of the uh, stock with water. You just cook it for an hour or two. Right, and at the same time, I'm going to put some um, parsley in there as well, and that's just going to help us uh, get some more flavour. And then we're going to talk about the uh, the beans, what we're going to do. Right, I'm back. All right, awesome. I know, so, I, I can see that you were missing me. <laughs> OK, right. So I put some water in there. Parsley, Cook it in a pressure yep. cooker as well, you know, it'll okay, half cool. the time. You Speed don't need to, just uh, you can you know, do it on a low simmer with a lid on, just get all those flavours. Um, right. So pulses, so you can use beans as, as we said before, you know, use white beans, black beans, anything you want, split peas. So we've got some split peas here, and then you can buy these as well, relatively cheap at the nice. supermarket. Okay, cool. um, so they're really hard, obviously dried. Um, soak them overnight in some cold water. Yep. And that's and it'll just, like. Yeah, it will just rehydrate them slightly and uh, just soften them. And when you right. cook them, they'll be nice and even. Looks like and it's corn. A, it does look like yeah, it. Does. Just uh, give them a rinse off in cold water so it becomes clear, drain them off, and then once we're ready with the stock in the second stage, we can just add them in and cook them. They'll still take about sort of 40 minutes to cook. Okay, good. I'm liking this recipe because it's a lot of stuff that I wouldn't think of putting in a stew. Hopefully you can give this a go at home. We'll come back very soon and show you how to do some more of this straight after we catch up with Holly.
plus we're making a pretty hearty stew right now and the thing that I love about this mark is the fact that this is nice and cheap everything we've used so far very affordable in particular this meat here the hock on the bone uh, really cheap Really, really cheap, but maximise um, flavour from it, which yeah. is brilliant, which is, that's what we love. You know, okay. That's what it's all about. Right, so where are we at now? What's happening? Okay, so this is the... Uh, this is that's the pot sliding away. Yeah. <laughs> so this is so this is after the first stage. So after a couple of hours cooking, you can see the meat's just falling off the bone. Isn't it? The bones there. This is going to be extremely hot. So you just want to let this cool down a little bit, and then you can pick all this meat off. You know, you, nice chunks of meat. Yeah. Don't break it down too much. Right. You know, any sort of sinewy bits or bone or, or fat or stuff that you don't want to eat, um, just discard. Okay. But that's what you want. You just want those nice meaty pieces. Okay. Cool. Okay, here's the stock. So this is full of flavour. That's your stock left over from the cooking. Right. And we're going to use that now in our second part of, um, okay. of the <clears> stew. <throat> second part, let's get going. Right, so a little bit of leek. Yeah. So it's going to take a little bit more time. Just cut it into some nice um, squares. Um, and then this is going to be served actually in the dish. Okay. okay. Nice. So we're going to put a little bit of olive oil into that red pot. Yep. I'll grab the olive oil. And I'm going to grab a fork to help you take off some of that. Some of that or, meat. A, or a spoon. Or a spoon. <laughs> and a little bit of garlic as well. Okay. okay and then it. we're going to start building up some flavours into, into the stew. So just roughly chop that. And we're just going to sweat this down for a couple of minutes, just in some olive oil. Just sort of soften it, bring up those uh, sort of sweet flavours. Don't want to get any colour on it now. Okay. So just lightly sweat in. Put a tiny little pinch of salt. So I'm just building the salt up as we go through the stew. The smoked ham hock is going to be salty as well, so just be careful you don't put too much salt okay. in each stage. So I'm just going very lightly, 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 and you probably won't need to season it at the end. Nice work. How do you okay. make a gorilla stew? <laughs> don't know, Mike. You make it wait for three hours. OK. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know, bad joke, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anywho, <laughs> yeah, go, okay, carry on. <laughs> okay, so just just a couple of minutes stuffing. I'll move you over there so I can get. All right, cool. The pot. Get to so your that, bowl. That's for you. Nice, thank you, sir. And then the ham hocks uh, cooked now, so we're just going to drop that in at the last minute. So just starting to sweat these leeks off and the garlic. So you can see them starting to soften in, and then we can put our split peas in there now. Yum. So we're finished with the bone here, aren't we? Yeah, yeah so we're finished yep. with the bone. We've taken all the flavour out of the bone. Yeah. So we don't need that anymore. This is going to be nice and chunky, but you like it chunky? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, leave it chunky, you know, that makes it sort of hearty, you know, you get the nice meat there, you've got lots of texture in here. I'm going to put a little bit of parsley in there as well. And then I am going to put our stock in here. Okay. So stock goes in there. We're going to bring that to the boil. And then we're going to simmer it until the, uh, the split peas are nice and uh, tender. So probably about 40 minutes. Okay. You know, just on a low heat. And then we, we want to sort of crush half of them. And that's going to thicken up our stew. And we're going to leave some sort of hole so it's got nice texture. You don't want a, like, a thick puree. You want a sort of a thickened stew with texture. Okay? okay, good. Sounds good. And then all we need to do is just finish off with these broad beans, which we've just shelled, taken them out of the skin. We'll pop them in just to warm up. The meat goes back in. And then about 20 minutes before you put that in, we've got some baby carrots. We're just going to chuck, uh, just cut into some nice chunks and just cook those in the stew as well. So they'll go nice and smoky and tasty. And how long, how long would you... Minutes, yeah, how long? About 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. depending on, you know, if you cut them, if you cut them really small um, or in little slices, you know, they'll take, they'll okay, be good. cooked quite fast. But nice, nice sort of chunky rustic stew this is. I am really impressed with all the flavours that I can smell here. This is going to be so delicious. Well done, Mark. It's a stew like I've never seen before. I told you it was going to be amazing. We're going to a man who's full of dad jokes. Mark, how was your, how was your stew? Oh, it's fantastic. I'm just plating it up now. Finish it with a little bit of that chopped parsley. I love the colours in it. It looks great. That's it. It's sort, it's sort of like a... Oh, I've made a mess now. Oh, it's fine. Like a summery, summery sort of changeover stew. It looks delicious. Can't wait to eat it. What are you making tomorrow? Tomorrow, cottage pie with cauliflower. Yeah, I'm cauliflower.